JTS Jun Jun de Gaumon Show The Jun de Gaumon Show The Jun de Gaumon Show Jun 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 de Gaumon Show The Jun de Gaumon Show The Jun de Gaumon Show uh, this is June Boy of July, aka Bisayan Gamay. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the subscribe button. And of course, for the bell button. Bell button. Para po ma notify kayo kung ano yung time of year. And pin my name po and share this My Your Owl Show. DJ DS The June Degamon Show. Hosted by June, born in July, aka Bisa Young Gamai. Who is William Shakespeare? Please join me as we get to know William Shakespeare more. But soft, what lies through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? What's in a name? That which we call a rose, by any other name would smell as sweet. These are three famous quotations from Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet play. Well, friends, are you ready to journey with me? Well, I'm your pilot for today. Please fasten your seatbelt as we journey together to know more about the life of William Shakespeare. Do you know the exact date of William Shakespeare's birthday? I don't know either because as per the records there was no exact date of William Shakespeare's birthday. It was unknown. However, he was baptized on the 26th of April 1564 and his hometown was Stratford upon Avon in England. Shakespeare was a playwright, actor, and poet. He died on the 23rd of April 1616 at the age of 52. William Shakespeare was born during England's Tudor period. He was one of the eight children born to John Shakespeare, a well to do glove maker and leather worker and his wife Mary Arden an heiress from a wealthy family very little is known about William Shakespeare's early years in fact his actual date of birth remains a mystery to this day but it's believed he had a good upbringing in 1582 William married a farmer's daughter called Anne Hathaway they had three children together, a daughter called Susanna and twins Judith and Hamlet. Talking about Shakespeare's daughter Susanna, friends, let's have a look at Susanna's house. Hello mga stars, good morning. Uh, we are right here in front of the house of Shakespeare's daughter. Uh, ito yung house na tinirahan ng kanyang anak na babae. Kaya halamin natin kung anong meron dito. Alright, tara, puntahan natin. Ito po ang fasad ng bahay ng anak ni Shakespeare. Uh, ngayon mga ka-stars, we're heading to the grave of, of Shakespeare. But before namin pupuntahan yung uh, grave niya, magsisimba muna kami magpapasalamat sa lahat ng uh, biyayang ipinagkaloob sa atin ng Panginoon. And nandiyan si Marvick Vicky Monosilo, isang kaibigan natin na nagpo-vlog din. Ayan, so tingnan natin. So ang tawag po dito ay Hallscroft. Yeah, so nasabi ko ito yung bahay ng anak na Shakespeare na si Susana. Ito po yung mga kaibigan, mga ka-stars, home of Shakespeare's daughter Susana and Dr. John Ho. Ayan, so ito yung bahay ng anak niya. Yan, well preserved po siya. Tingnan natin sa malayuan kung ano po yung mukha ng dating ng So, ito po yung bahay. Sinasabi ko, look. 
Ayan po yan. Ayan. Ito yung bahay niya. Ito yung uh, may cafe and shop pala dyan sa loob. Kaso nga lang this time, it's actually closed. So, hindi tayo makakapasok. So, ito yung entrance niya. Ayan, that's the entrance, yeah? Okay. At uh, ito po yung lugar. Ayan. When Shakespeare died on 23rd April 1616, he left the bulk of his estate in an elaborate fee tale to Susanna and her male heirs, which included his main house, new place, his two houses on Henley Street and various lands in and around Stratford and all his good shuttles, leases, plate, jewels and household stuff. Susanna married John Hall, a respected physician on 5th of June 1607 in Holy Trinity Church. She was 24 and her husband was 32. Some slight evidence indicates that Shakespeare settled a substantial dowry on Susanna of 105 acres of his land. In a distance, that's, that's how it looks. The, the house of Shakespeare's daughter. Yan po. At um, marami po dito pumupunta dahil uh, ito ay uh, napakagandang lugar. Okay, at pumunta kami doon sa isang church. Mga ka-stars, plano talaga naming magsimba. Pero during this time, na nandito kami, wala po siyang service. It was closed dahil po sa pandemia. Kaya ang ginawa na lang po namin, umikot-ikot na lang po kami sa lugar na ito. Sobrang tahimik po ang lugar na ito. Uh, kunti lang pong tao ang nakikita mo uh, siguro naman dahil sa pandemia o di kaya'y talagang hindi lang mahilig lumabas ang mga tao rito alam niyo ba mga kastors bakit kami nagawi sa lugar na ito e eh, syempre hinanap namin ang libingan ni William Shakespeare karamihan po sa aming mga tinanong ay kagaya din naming mga turista Kaya wala po kaming nakuhang definite na lugar kung saan. Pero, eto na. Dito ang lugar kung saan inilibing si William Shakespeare. We thought this cemetery beside the church was where William Shakespeare was buried. But we were wrong because William Shakespeare was buried inside the, the Holy Trinity Church. Inside the Holy Trinity Church is where you can find Shakespeare's funerary monument. It's a memorial to William Shakespeare because Shakespeare was baptized in this Holy Trinity Church. This is also the place where he was buried in the chancel two days after his death. The Holy Trinity Church is one of England's most beautiful parish churches. You know guys, we were so excited to visit the grave of William Shakespeare. However, the church was closed. Visiting the place is one way of paying our respect at the final resting place of England's greatest playwright and Stratford's most famous son. In terms of the direction going to the Holy Trinity Church and if you want to visit the grave of William Shakespeare all you need to do is to walk along the banks of the river from Stratford upon Avon Town Centre to Holy Trinity Church where the bard was baptized in 1564 where he worshipped and where ultimately he was laid to rest in 1660. You know guys, you haven't seen the house of William Shakespeare yet. So come on guys, let's have a look. That's literally the house of William Shakespeare. That building is a simple architecture constructed in daub and wattle. Around the wood frame and typical of the times it was built in. 
William Shakespeare's father, John Shakespeare, was a wool dealer and glove maker, so the house was originally divided into two parts so he could carry out his business. The house fell into disrepair once the family line came to an end until a renewing interest in the 18th century. An American showed interest in buying the residence in 1846 and proposed to have it shipped to the U.S. brick by brick. So in response to this, the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust was set up with help from Charles Dickens. They raised the necessary £3,000 and bought it the following year. Once acquired, the restoration was able to proceed. Welcoming visitors for over 250 years, today the building reflects family life as it would have been at the time of Shakespeare with period furnishings. Also, the garden at the back of the house is planted with flowers known at the time of Shakespeare. Shakespeare's birthplace is situated in Henley Street, Stratford upon Avon, Warwickshire, England. It is a special place and it is believed that William Shakespeare was born here in 1564 and where he spent his childhood. Shakespeare's birthplace is a refurbished 16th century half-timbered house. It is a very popular visitor attraction and now a museum open to the public owned and managed by the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust. It is a must-see for all lovers of British literature. Thank you for watching and see you next time around. God bless you all. The June De Gaulle Show would like to thank the following members. Bill Yeza Chubby, please support Bill Yeza Chubby by subscribing its channel. Love for Downs, please support Love for Downs in its advocacy in helping children with Down Syndrome. Ronville Channel. Please support Ronville Channel. Ashred De Jesus. Please support Ashred De Jesus. Mervic VK Monosillo, the champ. Please support. Together with BLDG Productions. The Caring Vlogs Ella W Mommy Pink Cucinero Pinoy Vlog Beverly Z Arts by Ayeri John Selfisket MG and Kikai Makin Plus the new members Chubby Chubs Boy Kips and Ate Moko Thank you very much for your continued patronage Sanai Daghan salamat po mga amigo o amiga. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, The June Legal Show, by pressing the subscribe button and of course by pressing the bell button for you to be notified on my new videos. And please don't forget to hit the like and share button. Daghan salamat mga kaitsuo.